Well, people have been stopping by this memorial throughout the evening. Uh, actually, Chief Braun and his wife just left. We've seen families stop by. Gordon was well liked and respected in this community where he was born and where he was raised. Uh, to look at his Facebook page and talk to his family, this is a man who loved people and who people loved. Family members huddle to help each other with the hurt. My heart is really heavy. It's so heavy. Daryl Gordon, dead at 54. He and his wife Angie, parents of two college age daughters, so close to retirement, looking forward to another big family reunion this summer. He and cousin Demetrius Peoples had just talked about it. If you need, need him, you just, hey, cuz, I need to talk to you. His door is always open. Cousin Laverne Gates remembers back to the days at Lincoln Heights Elementary. We went to elementary school together. Daryl was just always nice. The same, and like she said, he always was smiling. Cousin Charles remembers Gordon saving him on the job when he accidentally started a fire. But here come the firemen, and Daryl come running up the steps and came right to me, cuz, what's going on? I said, Daryl, I think I wired the uh, thermostat wrong. He's like, oh, I take, don't worry about it, I take care of it. I'm not going to tell your boss on you. Gordon, a Ball State grad, his Facebook page shows he's kept the friends from his fraternity. He began his service as a Cincinnati firefighter in 1985. Most recently, he's worked as a fire apparatus operator and explosive ordnance disposal technician. Not on your side actually interviewed him five years ago talking about defusing a potential bomb. It's a very high explosives. Uh, this one block here, pound and a quarter, is enough to destroy a car and obviously kill a person or two. Cousin Karen Hill says it's hard to believe he's gone. He just had that, uh, that quiet nature about him, but you know, he was smiling, you know, talking to, talking to everybody and he's just, he's going to be greatly missed. Gordon's wife understandably did not want to talk today, but I did talk to former Cincinnati Fire Chief Robert Wright at the family home, and he said in time they would all have much to say about this man in time. At the Firefighters Memorial, I'm Julie O'Neill. We'll send it back to you. And it's going to take some time for those folks. Thanks, Julie.